My pops will never be here tonight. First poem I started spitting to him, he left the room. Every conversation ends with, I don't understand you. Social environments become more like, don't upset anyone by telling them what you do. And why would anyone on earth in their right mind ever get that tattoo when I'm thinking, I didn't get this in my right mind, man. In fact, my mind hasn't been right for a very long time. It's only been left, and so a little more correct. This is why I use every part of me, even my skin, to project. Anyway, so on every possible gift-giving occasion, I offer to him a more realistic perspective on the unfamiliar truth. I offer him simply books. The Autobiography of Malcolm X, Legacy to Liberation, Chicana Feminist Thought, The Fire and the Word, etc. He hasn't read one. Why, Pops? I'm sorry. I just don't believe in that, son. I stop and wonder if whoever coined the phrase, never judge a book by its cover, ever dream, there would be a situation so fucking appropriate. But I don't say it. It's just too obvious. Now, my mom's is a little different. I bought her books too, of course, and she reads them. I ask, so what did you think then? Yeah, I read it, it was very good. Yeah, well, what else did you think? Well, it's a little different than what I'm used to, but I understand it's your thing and it's what you're into, I think. A revolution has never just been my thing, it's what everyone deserves, and the only time I was ever into was while stepping into the people's real world, not the one someone become so used to when I first began wondering how I was ever so comfortable just being used to. My brother walks in the house. He's just finished a tour in Iraq and my dad shoots me that look of, don't you even think for one second? And so, unsurprised, I put 50 stars in my eyes and go along. Trying to drown out all these uncritical thoughts spillage, all these clever new words for rape and pillage, the new American weaponry and how efficient it is at vaporizing Iraqi souls, aka alternate and hidden agendas goals. Actually, not even that hidden. And still, I love to death my family. My dad doesn't know why I have so much support for my arguments and this really makes him mad. And I don't know why he walks around blindly feeling out and grasping oppressive coattails of the past. My pops isn't here tonight. My pops will never be here tonight. He says, you'll grow out of it. You'll understand when you're older. My parents won't have any part in the revolution. Or so they think, but for this long-awaited revolution, they've made one soldier. Made this son bolder, strike slightly stronger shoulders, lean right here, I'll hold you, but maybe he'll never get it. Maybe they'll resist and resist, but forever to fight in this revolution, I still die to defend his and every person's human right to exist. Thank you.